everybody, it's Lon Sybin, and I never thought I would review any cooking stuff on this channel, but this is really cool. This is the Power Pot, and they were kind enough to uh, send this to the show to review. And what this is, is a, a cooking pot that will cook your spaghetti or your ramen noodles or whatever, uh, and it will also charge your phone at the same time. So really cool. It's got a thermoelectric generator on here, and what it does is if you've got water in here, the temperature differential between uh, the heat at the bottom and the water in the pot uh, will be converted to electricity that you can charge your phone with. It's one amp of USB power, so it's the equivalent of your uh, iPhone uh, plug. So whatever phone plug your phone came with, uh, those usually output one amp of USB power, and this is uh, capable of producing that much electricity, which is pretty cool. It's not very efficient in the grand scheme of things, but uh, if you're out in the wilderness somewhere and you've got a campfire, you can likely use this. Now, there are some uh, limitations to be concerned with initially is that uh, it has, these are fire resistant cables, not fireproof. So you want to put it over a flame that kind of stays limited to the bottom of the pot here because uh, you don't want flames coming up over the side of it, which will eventually damage the, uh, the electronics here, the circuitry here. Um, so you want to be careful about that. Uh, you also need to make sure that you never run it dry because this really depends upon, again, that temperature differential. And if you have uh, nothing in the pot, uh, you're going to damage it. So let's see what you get with the device. So you have the pot here. Um, this is the little power connector and uh, there's a handle here as well that snaps out. So you want to kind of put these out over here and then just slip the, uh, the little plug in between there just so you can get it uh, as far away from the flame as you can. And because you also want to plug things into it. Um, here's the pot here. Not much to see in there. Uh, you have a little uh, cover for it here. So this is a cover. It'll also uh, serve as a, you can actually cook with this as well. So this can take enough heat uh, to cook some things with. So if you had something dry that you wanted to cook, you could uh, cook it in here and you could also, I guess, put it down like that if you wanted to. So pretty cool there. And then you've got uh, some of the other stuff here. This is the power regulator. So uh, what you do is you plug, um, this is the USB port here. Uh, you take this end and you just plug it into uh, this spot here and you can uh, get, your, get your charge on when you get your, your heat running. We're going to show you this in the kitchen in a second. And you've got a three-way cable here for different types of USB devices. This is power only. It won't do data transfer, but I don't think you're going to transfer data to your, your spaghetti. <laughs> um, uh, but you have uh, an iPhone, an uh, old iPhone connector uh, or iPod. Uh, you have a micro USB and then one of the larger USB cables on here as well. Now, if you want to plug in your newer iPhone, you need to uh, get the uh, USB cable out, you know, the lightning cable, and just plug it into here. When we go upstairs, I will show you that with my iPhone and its cable. So uh, you can use the traditional I iPhone cable. Just make sure you keep it very far away, which you can do because there's plenty of cable length on here to do that. Another little bonus that I found in the box was this little lamp. So you can actually plug this in and have a, a light source as well. So uh, pretty neat. So we are going to go run upstairs to the kitchen and fire this up, literally. Okay, we've got our pot filled with cold water. They do recommend you use cold water. And we have our a little cable here. I'm just going to put this over here like this to kind of keep it positioned. And then you take the a little power connector here and connect it up. It can only go in one way, so you won't mix the positive and the negative. And then all we need to do is just fire up our stove here. And they do recommend that you try to keep the flame away from this area here, so we'll definitely do that. And as it is coming up, what we're going to keep an eye on is this little light right here on this um, power uh, adapter. And when it lights up green, we have power. And what's interesting is that it will heat up and get ready to generate power very quickly. So the light is already coming on. And that is because the power is dependent on the temperature differential between the water in the pot and the bottom of the pot. So now we've got a full-blown signal here and uh, they also have a little power meter here that they provided to the show so um, we're going to pop this in and also plug it into our iPad at the same time here so we're going to uh, just connect these two pieces up now the iPad is giving us an accessory uh, error because we not, are not yet generating enough power so right our first test didn't work because we were not yet generating enough power so I'm going to uh, plug it in again and see where we're at and uh, now we're good. So now we're generating only about three watts. So the iPad's going to report not charging. But if I were to unplug it from here and plug it into my uh, iPhone, let's see what we get on the phone here. And the phone's reporting that it is charging. Again, we're not getting a lot of power here. We're only at like the one to two watt stage here. So this is going to be a very, very slow charge. And the reason is, is that the hotter the water gets, the less charge you get because there's, a, there's less of a temperature differential between the bottom and the top. So what they do recommend is that you put uh, ice water in to start. But uh, as you can see here, we're not doing too well, and I don't think we're going to do much better. We might see an occasional tick up to 2 watts, but you know, from a practicality standpoint, this is probably better 
uh, for powering the little light at a campsite, with, uh, which we'll do right here, um, than it might be uh, doing your phone. All right, we're going to let the power pot cool off in the kitchen, but as you saw, as the water heated up, the amount of electricity decreased, and it, uh, once I got to about a boil, it was running at about uh, two watts, which is roughly about you know, like half an amp or less, so you weren't, weren't really getting uh, enough to really power the iPhone at the same uh, power that you would get out of your wall socket, but uh, certainly enough to charge it very slowly, and I think once it got to a boil, it kind of leveled off at that point and you probably could conceivably charge the phone over a longer period of time. I think it might actually be more useful as a way uh, to get some, uh, just get a little flashlight going on your campsite with that LED light that it comes with. So, uh, so that was pretty cool. So um, pretty neat little technology, a great way to have some supplemental power when you're uh, out in the field, but you might want to bring uh, some of those rechargeable battery packs along with you too, just in case. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.